Hello friends, my name is Tawi Lemoshe and this is the maiden edition of Kingdom Ambassadors. And what we want to do here is to showcase those who are representing the kingdom in the marketplace. Of course, you know that um, the narrative before we had before there was that um, the church was full of non-entities, people that never do well. But thank God, God has changed that narrative. We have quite a lot of people, especially young folks, who are doing mighty things in the places that God has put them. And today I have one of such here today who we would interview and she's going to encourage us and then particularly to those who are young out there, she's going to be an encouragement to you, she's going to be a model to you of how God can use somebody who is young and then use them to transform other lives, be a blessing to other people and find meaning for their lives at a very, very young age. So welcome again to Kingdom Ambassadors, representing the kingdom and the marketplace. Thank you. With me today is a young lady, beautiful young lady. Her name is Oludoimola Olajoi. She is CEO of Doni Adire and Craft Nigeria. Welcome, Doni hey. Olajoi. Doni, I got it right? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. you're welcome. How are you? Yeah, are you doing? Fine. Fine. And um, Fine. you are the you are the you are the pioneer uh, for this um, for this um, Kingdom Ambassadors Initiative. And promoting young people yes. who are doing great things in the business world and um, you know this came from a discussion I had with you some time ago yes. uh, we yes. finished service and um, you joined me on your way to the house and I was asking you questions about um, are you staying with your parents and you said no that your parents are um, uh, somewhere and you'll talk about that later and I said you stay with your sister I said no you live alone I was, I was quite inquisitive because I see that you're a young person, so I was wondering how your, your parents will leave you to live alone as a young lady. Um, so, so I got interested in you, and so that's why we are here. So, um, doing just let us let us meet you just briefly. Let, let, let me just get to meet you. Okay, I am doing Mola Olaje. I am a young lady. I'm an entrepreneur, and I grew up in Ondo State. I grew up with four siblings. We're four, we're four, I'm third child, and I have a younger brother. Um, I run Doni Adira and Crafts Nigeria, and it's been two years and some months already. I am an humanitarian. I empower young people, you know, particularly girls in secondary school, you know, uh, people who are teenagers pretty much. And yes, that, that's the one. All right, now that that that's my interest. That is my interest because I know that you are young. Um, you just clocked twenty three, yes. um, just a few weeks ago, in it, and then your business is two years already. That means you started at age twenty one, very about twenty, yeah. 20 yes. age twenty. And um, I'm looking at myself. I entered university at age twenty. Forgive me. Um, <laughs> late, we late, we we entered late, and um, so I'm asking myself. You uh, you started business at 20, you are empowering young girls who are in secondary school. And then I'm asking myself, at that age, a lot of people are still wondering here and there, not knowing anything about their lives. They don't know where they are going to turn, whether they are turning to the right or the left. So, so how did you get there at that age that you started business at 20? How, how, did, you, how, how, did, how, how did you get there, please? Okay, if you first start, I didn't just start business like, Oh, this is business, right? But I've always been one who loves fashion and art. And so when I was growing up, I was one who was exposed to fashion, okay. so to speak. Your father, right. your mom, your siblings? Yes, not 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 like they were fashionable persons, but I was always interested in anything that looks good. Okay. You know, anything that okay. I want to dress well, I want to, you know, wear makeup, use plenty of gloves and all of that. Sometimes I even wear like older person's heels and footwear and you know I just walk around and all of that. And so when I was fifteen, before I gained admission, it was just immediately I graduated from secondary school. I think about a month or less than two months I got into an institution. Wow. So, but before then I was already exposed to runways, you know, fashion events and all of that. Wow. And so when I got to school, I was opportune to join a modeling agency. Wow. Me and you know, spawn me on how to work and all of that. So 
I, I think I got into school when I was 15. Whoa. So I, Whoa. I was actually Impressive. doing my work, learning, doing school and all of that. And so from that age, I started to travel. You know, I went to Abuja alone. I came to Lagos alone. I, I schooled in Ondo State as well. Wow. So um, I did that. I did modeling for some years. You know, I did runway events. I did pageantries and all of that. And it was actually an an exposure, you know, what do I call it now? Time frame for me. Yeah. Opportunity to, you know, go Expose out. Expose yourself. Know. Yes. If family, people were much older than myself. You know, I was competing with those who were 21 at that time. Wow. 16, 17. Wow. You know? So from there, I uh, picked interest in empowering people who were like my age range. At this time, when I started my humanitarian project, I was, I think I was 19. Whoa. I was 19. So I wanted to do something for people in my age, age group. range, yeah. 16, 17. And I figured that people like that were actually in secondary school, you know, rounding yeah. up or just getting into university. Um, university. Because I think I was also the youngest in my um, class, you know, okay. level, 200 level till I was, you know, done. And so the project also spurred me into starting business, you know, where I may get to the story. But okay. Okay. Let story. me, let me pause you there. Okay. So, um, because I'm looking at it because I have a daughter who is just about 16 and she's finishing secondary school. So I'm, I'm asking myself, my daughter enters university age 16 and then she's traveling to Abuja alone. I'll be worried as a parent. Yes. So, did your parents know anything about all this at yes, all? Absolutely. Like, I so, was one that they enjoyed freedom, actually. Okay. The, there was the knowledge that, okay, this is what you're doing. But there was also the place of, I want her to do what she wants to do. Wow, wow, wow. If your parents are watching this, we celebrate you. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I believe that many parents at that age will be on like, ah, um, let me say it in Yoruba, we send you to school to go and study, not to go and start doing runway stuff. And then, being a model, sometimes we have this notion, you know, for your parents who I believe should be in their 50s or 60s, there will be the notion because of their age group, the notion is that ah, those girls are carefree, they sleep with them, and there was no, there was no... No fuse from them that ah hope no, nobody's going to hope nobody's going to sleep with you. Exactly. Nobody's going to wow wow wow. Several talks from time to time. Yeah, okay. Child, you should wow wow wow. And all of that. There was the moral part, you know, that came with you just have to do good at every point. In time. Wow. Learned this is and all of that. this is very impressive <laughs> that parents would allow children because we have we a lot of us my age group in the 40s almost 50s or above 50s our parents just wanted us to do that medicine law engineering and all of that we were not allowed to do what we were to do we were coerced into doing many of the things we 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 actually many people are doing many people are forced into it so it's quite impressive to have parents who would allow you to do what you want to do now my next question is that at this time were you born again? Uh, yes, I was actually born again. I think I was 12 at this time. Okay. Even though, you know, the then and now is a lot different. And yes. I would say I was just a church goer okay. at that time. Okay. But you, 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 you had an inclination. Yes, yes. I was yes. Into the word, you know, trying to do things right, right. and all of that. Okay, yes, so when you do, when you do now officially, every officially, <laughs> get born again. <laughs> official, official. Uh, when I was in second um, higher institution, you know, I was actually dedicated. Okay, what school did you go to? Let's showcase at your school. I did clear that scene. Oh, did university. Did. What course did you study? I studied computer science. Ah, ah. so you studied computer science. <laughs> your parents studied twenty to do computer science. Now you are now into <laughs> a dire. So, so the diversion. Yes, the diversion. The diversion. So the 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 fact that you want to be a blessing to young ladies yeah. actually made it to divert into a dire right. so out of all the out of all the how do i use it now all the departments in fashion clothes um jewelries bags shoes air air i don't know what you call it air accessories yeah. makeup we have a lot of makeup yeah. people so why a dire because really a dire looks um traditional uh, it's more because I'm from Ogun State. I, I think that's where it came from. Yes. It looks local. 
So why would you want to go for a dire that looks local instead of the laces, the organzas, the coupons, the hairdo, the shoes, the Gucci bags? Cool or, exactly. The eye range yeah. stuff. Why did you go for something <laughs> as trivial as just clothes and t-shirts and then all this stuff? Okay, so um, my Mantiran project started in 2018. I, is it 2018? In April. And then we trained about 50 um secondary school girls on wow two occasions. 50 yes wow 50 girls and so i wasn't even the skilled person at this time i didn't know any skill i was just a model right and so i was getting people to train them so i was more like in between okay yes. okay so and the okay something that supported the, the humanitarian project in the first place was my modeling okay. one of the pageants i attended was um Geared towards humanity okay. and heritage. Okay. You know, that was like the team okay. of the pageant. So um one of the things that they normally love to ask us is so when you win this crown, when you're the queen for the next one year, what do you use your crown for? Oh, okay. You know? And so majority of the times I write, Oh, I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll do that. But at this particular pageant, I told myself that I was actually going to do something. Okay. I was not just going to just just write something, just, write something just to impress judges the judges. And, exactly. Yeah. So I determined to write something that I was going to, you know, uh, bring into reality. And so I wrote something about empowering young people to also promote culture. Okay. You know, give them a skill that would be able to have them create wealth themselves. Okay. Self reliance, okay. independence, and also promote our culture. Wow. Right? in a way that we are not just in an extinct okay you know? and so that was one of the things that made me start to do african things okay right? okay started from african things before it was adjured so along the way i did the project i think at this time i was in 300 level okay uh, when i started the project but i could not you know continue for some reasons financial reasons uh, i didn't get um sponsors, sponsors and yeah. partners so majority the 50 girls i was trained was on my savings actually oh my savings and in kind support from oh mom, from dad, wow and because friends. let me cut you short there because many girls your age at that time i'm talking about 16 17 18 now yes. would be using their money to either buy frivolous things you know, but you were you saving your money to help other girls. Now that to me um, shows the kind of heart that you have. You know, meaning that if if you get more money, you would affect more lives. Are you still in the, into the humanitarian stuff? Yes. You are yes, still into that it. Was what my business. That bu- that business, so yeah. I can have enough resources to, to do that. Yes. And this is why we must support this brand. You know, so it's it's for her. It's not getting money to live a large life. It's about getting resources to also help other young ladies to develop themselves. And um, and this is this is very commendable. I believe this is what um, um, every young people, every young person, every old person should be thinking about. Because for somebody at that age to be thinking of how to affect other girls, to me, it is very, very commendable. So, so you are still on with that. Did you do any, yeah. anyone shortly? Uh, okay, so I, when I started the project, when I started my business, I mean, yeah. I started because I didn't get um, finance oh, yes. and sponsors. So I told myself, that I was going to learn a skill. Okay. So that was what led me to learning address. Okay. I'm like, okay, after I learn, I'll start training people. Like, to help with <laughs> the sponsors I didn't get. Yes. That was actually what drove me to actually learn. Okay. So when I learned, I also you know, realized that learning was not enough. No. The skill was not enough. No. There was need for money, getting materials yeah. and yeah. all of that. Yeah. So when I got um, trained and out thought of Actually, all of this that I'm even saying so was actually inspired by the Holy Spirit at Hallelujah. every point in time. time. So it was not just my thoughts like, what should I do next? Yeah, do you understand? Yeah. Like, so I started a business and then I'm like, a percentage, some percentage of profits made from my business will be dedicated to the humanitarian project. So for two years already, I was just focused on building, building yeah. and But in the last weeks and months, I've actually trained you know, empower people yes. in secondary school. I know you had one in church yes. um, during the holiday for young young children right. that you trained them. Yes. 
that that's beautiful that, that's beautiful one on one well. so I, i'm just i'm just thinking okay now um do you intend later to also go back to your computer um science maybe get a job and get more money and then to be able to do this so you just want to stay with this no i'm not interested in computer science or you just did it and yes. then but this this you've always had business in you yes okay so so okay so let me let me just i want you to advise as many young people as possible who will be watching this um at any time they are watching it they watch it because um many young people your age they are either thinking at that age relationship fun and a lot of people want to make money without having to work for it so our values have been ups, are turned upside down because people want money not because you 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 want resources so that you can also help people for humanitarian purposes and so you didn't mind going to train going to learn a trade and do legitimate business so they can have legitimate funds and serve humanity but we have a lot of folks today who just want to make money so they can buy the latest car use the latest bone streets have the latest iphone yeah. you know and all those frivolities now what would you say to them i want you to say something to them young people like you who are in the in their late teens early 20s like you i want to say something to them okay okay so i would say to you if you're within 15 in fact you're 22, 22. Follow me, heard this, so. there, there are some people that even at in their early 20s they are still focused on those things <laughs> right? so i would say you should want to do something you should want to do something first for yourself and then for people and then when you are thinking of doing something you don't just want to do things for the fame or for the money there's always the place of helping people you know gifting people giving right it always comes back pretty much and so that being said you want to have something in mind that you want to do pen it down you know have a vision have it in mind that this is the particular thing that I want to. It could be anything at all. You may want to do anything at all, and you are capable of doing anything, anything at all. Whoever can, whoever you feel can be of help to you, communicate it. <coughs> I did not hold on to what my desire was. I actually communicated with my parents. I communicate, communicated with people who I, I, I feel could help me. You know, maybe with intellectual stuff. You know. That's I, I would really love it to focus on that pretty much. So you can hear from somebody, your mate, who is telling you how to live a productive life. So you are still on. Is it, do you have a name for that um, yes, foundation? Orange Humanity Project. Orange Hum Humanity, Humanity Project. Project. So if you if you are led by God to support this young lady please why don't you our details are going to be put on um, the screen so that it can be a support to her let's join her to see that this dream is achieved now my i have two questions more for you so how has your faith affected what you do okay um so one of the things that i like to look back at um was the upbringing that i had you know, I was I attended Winners Chapel, and so I was always hearing the word. I was not one of the, those kids who just go to church to play, right? I was actually I was also seven when I was a teenager. You know, I was wow. seven. I was one who always hear the word and want to act on what I hear. I was not only the hearer; I was also the doer of what I hear, yeah. right? And so I was also communing with the Holy Spirit. You know, I do not just lay back after church and not you know try to go back to my book try to go back to uh, my bible and all of that so i pray i i hear from the holy spirit i hear from god you know so and it has really helped me in business it started from my humanitarian project the kind of pageant i also attended i didn't want every pageant you know mm, I went you are discretionary about it yes i was you know I, I was particular about the kind of pageants some i had uh, miss united nations i went for miss nigeria um what's it called um 
what they call uh, auditioning. Yes, I went for that. Audition. I was particular about the kind of there are some pageants that. You know, there's stuff to read about them online, Lining. and that's it's a no no for me, okay. Right? So, um, I, I let my faith really inspire the kind of things that I want to do, and also in business. All right, so about um, you, you recently graduated from the GC Vocational School, you joined Ghost Chamber when? When you got I joined you? Ghost Chamber in 2020. Oh, 2020. August. Oh, 20, just about a year plus ago. Yes. So, how have you been blessed? You you just finished at vocational school, yes. and you are the you won the award, right. the business grant from the church. So, how has it been? GC has been a huge blessing to me. GC has been. A, I I shared it in um, Faith House Fellowship. Was it last week or to so, to so, um. I think last two months. Or okay, last fellowship, yes. The last one. You know, and then I'm like, GC has made me a better person. I, where I am today is not where I was, in fact, in January, right? Wow. And that's because of the words that I have heard, you know, the seasoned, like, if there's a better way to say it, I don't know, the kind of word that I hear. And because I'm also the person that likes to do what I hear. It has, you know, helped me a whole lot, right? And the kind of pastors and ministers that we also have in GC, you know, they are able to reach out at any time, you know, to share whatever it is, the challenge is, the good news as well is to you, you know. So the kind of um, love and support that is being shown in GC is, is also top notch. You know, GC Business School was in March. Yeah. And, you know, for my business, it helped me learn quite a number of things there were several um what's it called there were several things that we learned about law about accounting how to run your business business planning and all of that they were really helpful to me you know and gc generally has been a huge blessing and i'm grateful So, doing it's been an interesting conversation with you. Um, very intriguing um, stuff that you're saying about yourself. So, I want to ask you this final question: Where do you see Doni in five years, then in ten years? Okay. Um, first, in five years, Doni Adira and Cross Nigeria will be a global brand. Hallelujah, Amen. So, pretty much be supplying Adira products, contemporary, comfortable sustainable Adira textiles to people in Lagos, in Nigeria, and globally. Amen. We would also be an employer of labor, right? So we would have quite a number of persons who will be working with Johnny. We will have a Johnny gallery where products, Adira products, several Adira products would be showcased. We would have a training, um, a physical training plan for two years. Johnny has um, done trainings online pretty much. So I also have people who are trained and who have started their businesses. So yeah. in five years, by the grace of God, we would have, um, or even before five years, by the grace, we would have um, a place for training and it's double as the um, gallery as oh, okay. well. And in 10 years, what have I never thought about 10 years time? I was supposed to be doing big things. By God's grace, Amen. by God's grace. Then your humanitarian, origin humanitarian project. project. Well, yes. do I do see it in five years? Um, so this year, 2021, would actually be relaunching. That's my desire. That's okay. my desire. By by um by 2021, by 2026, we must have trained thousands of girls and even male folks. We're just focusing on females. We're not biased about the um gender. gender. So it's but just focusing on the development of females. So we're not leaving the guys behind. So we must have trained thousands of people, you know, um, and birthed more textile designers. Okay. To promote Africa, people to be self-reliant, you know, create wealth. And, that, that's yeah. very, very, very interesting. I believe God will see that all these things come to pass. Let us, let us see some of your stuff. Now, I I am putting on a t-shirt made by heart. Isn't this beautiful? Okay, so let's see a few of your stuff there. This is a t-shirt. It's a hundred percent cotton t-shirt made with several colors. We also make batik. Um, 
cargo pants. Yeah. Do you make for mil very, mills too? Yes. Okay. Actually, in this so Okay. Very okay. Okay. This is also another one. This is also another one. And a lot more, pretty much. They come in several colors, several designs, you know. And any every Donny client have actually enjoyed their t shirts or their fabrics because we also make fabrics, right? It never fades, it's a non fade at the rare um product, right? So Thank you so much. Wow, this, this is beautiful. I believe that we should um, patronize our own. I know many of us actually like to get things from abroad, but this we can help. And because for every Adria product you buy from Donny, you are not just supporting her, you are also supporting the Orange Humanitarian Project. Because part of the proceeds from whatever she sells goes into helping other girls who are teenagers to also come up and then develop their life. So I believe that we should patronize and encourage this young lady in what God has put in her heart. You want to say something uh, before I pray for you and then we end this interesting time out? Yes. I want to say really thank you to God's Chamber Church and to Kingdom Ambassadors. I'm so honored to be one of the persons you know to be speaking um, during our meeting edition. Thank you so much. Your, your, your life is a blessing and um, I trust God with you. Let's just pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for doing a lot joy. Thank you for the dream you have put in our heart. Thank you for how far you have helped her. It, at this young age, she has come this far. Thank you because the part of the just like a light that shines brighter and brighter. Thank you because the future is perfected and settled. Thank you because you will take her, you will lead her on, you will strengthen her. In the name of Jesus, the project you have put in her heart to help other ladies, that Lord, you will strengthen and you call, you bring helpers to help her in this journey in the name of Jesus. Thank you because our five years and our ten year dreams comes becomes a reality in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. And we call her blessed in all she does. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us this uh, maiden edition. I believe that you were blessed. You were actually inspired by the story of Doni. Of D um, I did These are bag. Doni, Adire and Craft Nigeria. Um, so they are into art, craft and design services. Adire Textile Production. And made accessories. Masterclass with Dione on Adire making. You just need to, you just need to, you know, get acquainted with this young lady and join her and help her and let's see our brand grow around Africa and around Nigeria. God bless you. I believe that you had a good time um, at this uh, meeting edition. But our next person, next edition is going to be a young, vibrant man. I think also th un under 30 also. And we are going to hear amazing stuff from him. So I see you then. God has blessed you. This is Kingdom Ambassadors representing the kingdom in Marketplace. Thank you.